AI, ML, cyber security, cloud computing, a bunch of different streams that you could do within a master's in computer science as a specialization. Which one should you do? Keep watching to know. All right, it's 2025. By the time you head to your master's, it's probably gonna be 2026. And in 2026, here are the four specializations as part of the computer science degree that make the most sense for you from either a research perspective or from a corporate job perspective. The first one on my list, without any surprises, is going to be artificial intelligence. The number of jobs that have come up in the last four years around AI has been phenomenal. The rise of AI is truly exceptional as well. However, students are thinking about AI slightly wrong, in my opinion. The way to think about which AI specialization or particularly within AI what to do should be concentrated a lot more on the artificial intelligence infrastructure development rather than on building the foundational models themselves. If you're going to any country for your master's degree, not for a PhD, but for a master's degree, you are better off concentrating on the infrastructure, the software development piece of artificial intelligence, rather than building out the foundational models. That's the first specialization you should think about if you are going in and are confused about which specialization to take as part of a master's in computer science. The second specialization that you should think about probably is an analytics or a data science specialization. This is the specialization that teaches you how to use math, combine that with computing from computer science and build out models that are both able to show how the history was and predict what the future is going to be. Therefore, analytics and data science are popular specializations which come at my number two position. The number three position goes to cloud computing. As with the amount of explosion in data today, with the amount of explosion in users for a lot of the online products that we have today, the demand on making sure that the infrastructure is stable, is reliable at scale is enormous. A specialization, a master's in computer science with a specialization in cloud computing could be your ticket to building out highly scalable systems that can make sure that there is very low latency on whatever you're building out. So on my list of specializations to consider, number three goes to cloud computing. I'm bringing in four absolutely fantastic folks from the best possible universities in the world to come and talk to you about what the landscape looks like for computer science. I'm doing a webinar or a round table with these absolutely fantastic folks from universities like Georgia Tech, UIUC, from Carnegie Mellon, from USC, and a lot more. We are going to discuss what the curriculum looks like, what sort of specializations to take, what does the job scene look like after a master's in computer science, and a lot more. We will try and answer every single one of your questions around computer science. This is happening on the 12th of October, 9 p.m. Sunday, and I hope to see you all soon on that. Links to register will be down below. Number four, and the last on my list, should be cybersecurity. Cybersecurity in most countries is tightly round up. It's mostly practiced by academics or companies that contract out to the government of the country that you're in, and therefore it might be a slightly tricky path for international students to break into. However, it is very, very rewarding if you're able to make the break and are able to successfully craft a career in the same. Therefore, at fourth position is a master's in computer science with a specialization in cybersecurity. Those are the four specializations that I would recommend within computer science. And if you are someone that doesn't really care about the specialization and wants to, you know, just try and understand computer science at the most fundamental level, there isn't a better degree than the MS in CS. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one. If you watched this video until this point, I'm sure you liked it. Why don't you subscribe?